Hello, I'm Jenny Parker, and in this video I'll explain why you should not copy text directly from Word into a web page. Here I have a document that I've already prepared that has some text typed into it. And you can see the warning here from Yolo's website that says, you know, please note if you copy and paste directly from Word, it's very likely that the text will affect or break your page. This means that if you copy and paste it into it, it may be as drastic as you not being able to access your website. So be very careful about copying and pasting text directly from Word. What I suggest you do is that you select the text that you want to copy. Once you've selected the text, you need to copy it. So you can right click and select copy. And then go to notepad. Mine's already open, so I'm just going to click notepad. And then I'm going to right click and paste that text. Now I'm going to do a control A on my keyboard, which selects all of that text. And again, right click and copy, close that down. And I'm just going to jump into Yola. I'm going to drag a text item into my Yola page. Click where it says to click and type and paste that text in. Once you've pasted it in, to see behind it, to see the code, if I click on this little HTML, you can see that it's quite plain. I've just got a, a P and then the word, and there's no special formatting or anything in there. It's just the words and a few HTML tags. So now if I do the same thing down under here where I've got the text below with copied directly from Word, and I go back to my Word document, and I copy that again and this time I go straight into my YOLA and I paste that text into my document. You can see I've actually got the formatting that's come from Word. It's bold and bigger unlike the first one. I've also got the hyperlinks that have come with it. So you might think that's great but if you go into the HTML you can see all this formatting that it's put in. It can break your page and make it so that it will not work and you will not be able to access it. So I'm just going to delete that out again and click OK and then use the formatting from the tool that you're using. In this case I'm using Yola, so you could make it a heading, you could make it bold. It's much better to take it through Notepad and make sure it strips all the formatting out or you can use um, Yola's built-in tool. The same thing with every website except for Weebly. You cannot see the code behind it. It won't let you get at the code behind it. You don't see that it's affecting it, but it may still break your page. So it's not a good idea to paste directly into whichever tool you're using. And the same with Google Sites. If I go into my edit page, and I'm just going to paste that link in, and if I go up to the HTML, you can see it adds in a whole lot of formatting, which is not required. So it's much better just take it through Notepad, paste it in, and it will put in the correct code. So all the other information that was there um, is unnecessary, and it can break your code.